A few months ago, I built this Mac Pro sleeper to house my PC parts with the hopes of upgrading my outdated GTX 1080 video card with a new 50 series Nvidia GPU. When it came time to pick a GPU vendor, I found one that caters to the community I'm a part of, the maker community, specifically the 3D printing community. This is the Palette Gaming Pro RTX 5070. And it's part of their Maker branded series. This means they supply a handful of 3D printing files so you can modify and customize your video card to fit your PC build. The card itself already looks great with no modifications and boasts some hefty heat dissipation potential with its three fan, three slot cooler. If we look closer, we can see some areas that are designed to mount further customizations. On their site, we can find one shroud designed to be printed and painted and another blank canvas style model to be customized. These are supplied as step files for use with whatever CAD or sculpting software you're comfortable with. Both these models have a split and full design so they can fit on a wide variety of 3D printer bed sizes. Before we start modeling our own, let's print and paint this basic one first. This took a fair amount of support, but it's a pretty intricate design. A quick coat of primer and we can add our own spin to this design using some paint. Finally, we can add some clear coat to seal everything in and give it a nice glossy finish. In hindsight, I should have filled these seams where the two parts meet, but the result is still pretty awesome and it snaps onto the GPU with a satisfying click. All these models have back plates too, but since I'm running an inverted system, only the fan side of the GPU is visible, so I'll just use the stock back plate. Okay, let's jump into some CAD software here and make some custom designs. First, I wanted to try a minimalist design inspired by heatsink fins. These fins should let more than enough air through while obscuring the fans themselves. My first attempt was a little wonky as all these unsupported fins bent all over the place during printing. So I jumped back into CAD and linked them all together horizontally for better stability. And that seemed to do the trick. I'm not super thrilled about the big seam on this one, but the design is super cool to look at. And I even left a few round holes here to get just a hint of the built-in RGB on the card. Of course, I wanted to take my card to the next level, so I reached out to my friends over at PCBWay. I sent over some files for the GPU shroud and they 3D printed them out of aluminum. Within days, I had these fully metal parts arrive at my studio. To fully reach blinged out status here, we'll have to sand and polish them to get rid of this rough texture.
This took quite a few hours of filing, sanding, and buffing, and even though I couldn't get it to a mirror polish thanks to a buffing wheel mishap, it still looks amazing and I couldn't be happier with the results. Special thanks to PCBWay for helping me print these. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get something 3D printed in a wide array of materials. Part of being a savvy consumer is voting with your wallet and doing business with companies that support or further enable your hobbies. With PC building and 3D printing being so closely related, it's awesome to see a company step up to the plate like this and provide some added customization options for an investment as big as a video card. Special thanks to Pallet for letting me take a look at this awesome line of maker-friendly video cards, and you guys can check out the link in the description to find out more. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.